<laughs> Hello, my loves. <laughs> How is everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing well. I know I don't do too many of these like sit down talk videos anymore. I don't know why. I just guess I haven't been feeling very well and don't know what to say. <laughs> but today is a very like very very bittersweet day. I don't even know. Do I call it bittersweet? Or is it just a fucking suck ass day? Um it's not too bad though, it could always be worse. I unfortunately had to go to my friend's funeral today, and um, I don't even know how to how to process it. It just doesn't even seem real to me yet. So I still feel like I need to text her because I haven't texted her in over a week. You know what I mean? Like two weeks, then three weeks, and yeah. So um, yeah. So thank you all for your prayer request. Obviously, I guess this is like an update. My friend did pass away from the cancer. Um, she fought. She was such a fighter. She was, I have to say besides my mother, because my mother is so strong. Like, my mother is, I don't ever tell her, I don't think, I don't think I ever even make it known how, how important I think she is and how strong I think she is and how much I think she is just of everything. But besides my mother, my friend, this, this friend, this particular friend, I just was, she was so incredibly strong and I, you know, when most of my friends, my girlfriends, are real strong women. Like, they're, I hope my mouth is matching up with my voice here. Well, I mean with my whatever, you know, but my friends are really strong chicks. I, <laughs> I have a group of really tough, tough chicks, but she was, like, in a world of its own. It was unreal. Like, I admired her so much, and I would tell her that, like, I wish I could be half as tough as she was, and... She was just, it was amazing. It's amazing that no matter what life gives you and no matter what happens, you can just have such a strength to you and such a passion to you. And I wanted to speak at her funeral, but I knew I would absolutely lose it. I don't do funerals, and I don't think many people understand that. It sounds so selfish. Like, what do you mean you don't do funerals? I don't. I don't do them. I don't go to them. I have had really close people to me, very, very close people to me die and not go to their funerals because I don't do funerals. I just don't want to remember them like that. And I don't like it and I don't understand it. It doesn't bring peace to me. It doesn't make sense to me. And I, I, I tell my family, like, when I pass, I don't want a funeral. I don't want that. I want, like, a party. I want a celebration. I just, I don't know. To me, it just doesn't make sense. And I understand to many it makes sense and they get their... They, they're able to grieve and they're able to process it or it's like a form of healing or whatever it is. And I understand that, but I personally cannot understand that. So funerals for me are very, very hard and I don't go to them. But I went to this one because I had to be there for her family more than anything. You know, I know she's not there. I know she's, if I want to talk to her, I could talk to her now whenever I want to talk to her and she's going to be like an angel, you know, but her family is so important to me, and her kids are so important to me, and I just, it wasn't even about me, and that was, that's the beauty of it sometimes, you know, sometimes funerals, like, I didn't go to my grandfather's, it would have been about me, it wouldn't, I wouldn't have been there for anything but myself, I wasn't there to console my grandmother, because our relationship is different, and the whole scheme of my family is different, and I wouldn't have been able to be there for my mother, because she's not that type of person. She doesn't need anyone there for her at that time. You know, she's, it's just so, it's hard to explain. So if I would have went, it would have been for my own personal benefit and my own personal, like, need to grieve or to whatever. But I, I just, I couldn't do it. So I didn't, I didn't even go to that funeral. And near and dear friends I didn't go to. And the last one I went to was a friend of mine. A very good friend of mine that died of cancer and after seeing him that way in the coffin I was like you know what I'm not doing this anymore that is not how I ever want to remember anybody I love so I'm so glad that this service was small and private and it wasn't open and it was no nothing like that no week because I can't deal with that and like I said that might sound selfish but that's just me not that doesn't help me, that hurts me, and it's 
it doesn't make sense to me, so it's really weird. But I'm lost today. I'm like lost. I'm lost for words because I can't even believe it. I, I, I don't, you don't, it takes so long to process. Like I knew in my heart, I kind of knew she was going to pass. I didn't, I had hope. I always have hope. I'm the type of person that like, I have hope because I believe in miracles because guess what? Miracles happen. And if you don't believe in them, that's fine. But they happen nevertheless, you know, nonetheless, they're going to happen. So I always believe that what will happen will happen and it'll happen for the reason that it needs to happen. So of course I kept faith that there was a, there was a reason why she would need to still be here, you know? But I guess, like, you know, her suffering is over, and we all have our time, and I don't know. I, I can't, I could say that, but it doesn't make any damn sense to me. It's not even processing, so it's not even meaning anything, really. It's just, I have no idea. I'm just confused. I'm lost. I'm very sad, and I just thank everybody for their prayers and for asking me how my friend's doing and for praying because she fought like hell, man. She didn't give up easy at all, and that's who she was. That's who she is. That's who she'll always be. So yeah, if you want to pray, pray for her family, you know, continue to keep her family in her in your prayers, and I so much appreciate it, and even those those of you who don't pray, and you know who I'm talking about, like, I don't care about what your belief is, I don't judge for beliefs, your belief is your belief, and that's your personal opinion, and that's your personal belief, and that's what you feel inside, so who the fuck would I be to be, tell you what to believe in? So a lot of people don't believe in prayer, they don't believe in God, they don't believe in Jesus, they don't believe in whatever they don't believe in, that's fine, that's absolutely fine, I mean, I wouldn't, I believe in what I believe in, and I hope that would be fine by you, but I just, I love that you can just keep good mojo, good thoughts, and be like, you know what, even if you don't believe in any of that, you can still keep that person in your heart and in your thoughts, and send good wishes, and that's, whether you want to know it or not, that's prayer. So even if you don't believe in anything, guess what? He does. He believes in what you're saying. He believes in your truth. And he believes in your in your heart and what you're feeling. And that's the truth of it all. And so that's what I believe in. So that's why it doesn't matter what anybody believes in. Because it is what it is. And good feelings and good positivity and all of that stuff, that's, that's really what matters. That's what's heard. And that's what's important. It's funny, too, because I keep looking to the, <laughs> keep looking to my left and I'm like, there's going to be some fucking idiot who's going to say, you're looking to your left. And I took a psychology course 10 years ago, and that means you're lying. I'll never forget, like, I was saying something in a video, and someone commented. They're like, oh, you're looking to your left, so you're lying. That means you're lying. And, and I don't, like, sweet cheeks. I've taken psychology courses. I know, I know I've taken. I have those books that tell you, like, if the fucker's looking to their left, they're lying. If they're looking to their right, they mean this. If they're looking straight on, they make it. Yeah, that's fine. But I guess, like, I must be a compulsive liar because I always, for some reason, when I'm talking, I look to my left. Like, I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm really not even looking at anything, but my eyes go to my left. It's a comfort. But there'll always be somebody with their opinion saying, hey, you are a liar because you're looking this way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm so glad that I have so many more. I have like better people on here. I don't know. I have good people on here. I have like it's we're almost on 1500 subscribers, which is pretty awesome because I don't make videos to please anybody and I don't make them for attention. That might not make sense to what I'm saying, but I feel like a lot of videos are made for this group of attention, which I totally understand and I don't blame, but I don't do that. So it's and I and I don't like I don't know how to word it. I just do what I do when I do what I want to do when I want to do it. And it's just amazing to me that there's almost 1,500 people who actually go along with that. Like, who are like, you're cool for that. That's pretty freaking cool. So it's, I'm just happy that there's like 1,500 people on here that are actually like decent people. There might be some people, who knows, but the ones that I hear from, the ones that I see are so positive and so wonderful. It's like, wow. It's like, I like it like this because it's just nice and positive. There's no, I, I do get some, oh my goodness, and I, I don't care. I will totally delete you and block you. I'm not like, some people have kind of apologies for that. Like, if someone leaves a comment that they don't need to hear, that no one else needs to see. It's just negative bullshit. Nobody, I, nobody got time for that. People almost like feel bad for deleting or blocking them, which I don't understand. Like, if you have a channel, you make videos, you make anything like that. First off, it takes cojones the size of Mars to actually put yourself on here and to put yourself on to the whole world to see you. It really does, okay? So anybody making videos, you have cojones the size of Mars and you should be proud of those. Besides that, like, how the hell? Like, I just, I can't, I just can't. I don't even know where I'm going with this, but 
it is hard enough to come on here and do stuff, but, wow, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I don't know where we're going at, it's a long day, it's, I'm, I'm having a really tough damn time. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I guess I'm just happy that I have a lot of support on here. It's really nice. And it's not, it's so weird because I haven't even told, like, most people that I know don't know I have a channel. And if they do, they don't say anything. And then I'm thinking, like, maybe sometimes I'm like, my friend has to know. At least she has to be nosy enough to know and not, maybe not say anything because I haven't said anything. But then sometimes I'm like, maybe they really don't know. And that's weird. You know what I mean? And I've been so tempted lately to tell people, like, I have a channel when I make videos. But my insecurities lead me to not want to do so. They don't want me. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I just, I know I'm probably not making any friends. I'm probably going back and forth and not even back and forth. I'm probably going into, like, you're like, what is she talking about? I'm lost, but I'm lost. <laughs> I guess I'll just leave it here. I'll just leave it there. And I'll try to talk later, maybe. Maybe I'll make a few videos. I don't know if these talking videos are any good. I'm really insecure about myself. I've said it before. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm ashamed of having it, but I'm not ashamed of saying that I'm incredibly insecure. And I'm my worst critic. I'm my worst enemy. And just talking sometimes just makes me feel so stupid so I'm like who would want to hear this but then when I post it people are with me so I'm like obviously I must not be that stupid I think I'm just too hard on myself which is probably true I send you all a lot of love and I appreciate you watching my videos and I appreciate you subscribing to my videos and commenting on them I really do. And you guys know who you are. Like, seriously, you've, if you're at this point and you've commented, you've sent your love to me, I have commented back and I have thanked you for that. My thanks are not even close to what I mean. Like, you don't, it's so hard to really explain how much it means sometimes. On certain times of our lives when we're at such a hard point or a crucial point or a confusing point where there's just these little things that make such a big difference, you know? So it really does make a big difference, and you being kind and sweet to me makes, it's bigger than you know, it's not, I can't even word it, because it's really bigger than you can possibly ever know, and it means more than you can possibly ever know, and it's helping me more than I could explain on this video, you only see parts of me, and what you see is real, but you don't see the whole me, so just know that every time that you do say something, and it's kind, or just not hateful, you know what I mean, that it, it's, it's very important to me, and it means a lot to me, and I, I thank God that you're in existence for that reason, you know what I mean, I hope that makes sense, I hope I make sense, I'm gonna have to rewatch this, and hope I don't seem too out of it, like, is this person high or something, <laughs> not nah, promise, but, yeah, so a lot of love, and a lot of blessings, and thank you, thank you for being you, it's, you're one of a kind, and, beautiful thing.